Hey, it's Brie, and today we're smoking weed. Honestly, I just want to go ahead and jump into this video. If you've been here before, thanks for stopping by. And if you're new here, go ahead and click that red button and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for notifications because I already know after this video, after you smoke with me, you guys are going to want to see Brie all the time every time i upload yes yes we have catchphrases over here bitch i originally was going to do a completely different video like bitch i was gonna put a full face of makeup on and everything and when i was getting ready i was thinking to myself like nah i've been doing youtube for too long like i gotta come correct you know what i'm saying like i would rather get all my thoughts in order and then like come to you guys versus like jumping around from like one topic to the next to the next like i want that video to flow you know what i'm saying considering i need to get my shit together i decided i still need to film something like i genuinely miss you guys so what are we gonna do we're gonna smoke and i'm just gonna talk to you guys about what's been going on in my life i think i took like a two or three week break from my channel i randomly decided in the middle of the night to change my instagram so i'm no longer earth angel brie i am now the superstar brie so we are in a whole new era bitch we are in the superstar era where our dreams come true period okay i'm not gonna lie to you guys i love my new instagram name but after i changed my instagram i realized that i need to change my youtube intro so i would have been uploading sooner but i honestly you know i'm professional about my shit i'm not new to this i'm true to this make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on instagram i guess that's what the fuck that was leading up to yeah follow me on instagram stop being a hater i have a roach right here that i'm gonna go ahead and light because i already know that's gonna get me faded and then i'm gonna talk to you guys until i feel like rolling up again because i need a thumbnail for this video so i have to roll up again yeah I rolled this last night because if I don't smoke before I go to sleep I will be up until like five or six in the morning and I'm not even joking I'm not gonna lie to you guys my neighbor upstairs is really doing the motherfucking most right now like I don't know what the fuck that bitch just dropped on the floor I really just need to get back into the motions of being a youtuber like I really think I have imposter syndrome and I want to talk about it and I don't want to make a whole video dedicated to talking about imposter syndrome like people are gonna click on the video and they're gonna think that they're gonna walk away with like some insightful information and it's just gonna be me talking about how I've been doing YouTube for so long and I still don't feel like a youtuber uh. I really missed you guys man I genuinely really missed you guys this is why I brought up imposter syndrome because I feel like sometimes I can't wrap my my head around the fact that you guys actually just want to see me make videos like this is what I do I genuinely feel like overthinking is ruining my life like you guys I'm my own worst enemy I'm trying my best I really do be trying my best I definitely 100% want the best for myself just thinking about getting ready to film a video exhausts me just thinking about what I have to do before I even get in front of this ring light and this camera it overwhelms me and it exhausts me and then I end up like not even wanting to do it I actually I actually realized that about myself like two days ago I'm gonna stop that shit how did it take me so long to realize that like overthinking is what's stopping me from living my best life Ooh. like every time I think I've identified what is stopping me from living my best life it's like some other fucking demon come out the closet and it's like hi actually um I've been here too trying to sabotage you from within the call is coming from inside the house bitch leave me alone ah! I need to get comfortable being a fuck up in front of you guys again like I really feel like that time in my life when I was getting like trolled relentlessly I feel like that made me feel like I can't be me like I have to just come on here and have all my shit together and to be honest will I ever have my shit together will I ever have my shit together I mean granted I could get money and granted I could get accolades but like on the inside like who I am at the core like will I always be Jocelyn Hernandez <laughs> Why y'all so mad at me? What have I done to anybody but to get money? Like sometimes I be feeling like I need to come on here or I can only come on here when I have everything figured out. Like how I was just telling you guys I wanted to film a video and then I was like, no, I need to come correct. What happened to me? I used to be able to just get in front of the camera and just like talk to you guys 
And now I feel like I can't do that. And I genuinely feel like it's because I got PTSD. I genuinely feel like it's because I experienced like people just being nasty and mean to me online. And when you experience that, it kind of does make you want to just be a regular person. But I know in my soul, in my heart that I don't want to be a regular person. And that's why I'm telling you guys, like sometimes it's hard for me to get on here and make videos because every single day I feel totally different. I don't want you guys holding me accountable if I wake up tomorrow and I feel totally different than I fucking feel today. You know what I'm saying? I can't be all those things at once. I'm a human being. And I be feeling like sometimes people only watch you and I'm not saying like I feel like everybody who watches me is like that because I do feel like I need to start showing more appreciation to you guys. Just throwing that out there. But because I am also a realistic person, there are people that literally watch you just so they can nitpick your ass just so they can make fun of you. So that's why sometimes I'll be feeling like I can't film unless I put on a full face of makeup. Like today, I had to challenge myself to wear my glasses in this video because I want to see the camera. Like I want to see what's going on on camera. Like bitch, I'm not about to get contacts just so I can make videos. This is who I am. And so I'm kind of making this smoke with me video because I'm like, bitch, be yourself. Like this is like a message to me, like to be myself because that's why you guys subscribe and that's why you guys been fucking with me through everything that I've been through is because I'm me. Yeah, let's talk about life, man. I just really feel like I needed to make a video to just get all these things that I've secretly been hiding from you off my chest. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll come on here and I'll tell you guys that I'm ready to be consistent and I'm ready to chase my dreams. But then like when I actually start to think about what comes with that, bitch, I'll be like, am I ready for that? Like, am I really, really ready for that? Like, do I really want to be bothered? And every day I'm like flip flopping I'm a flip flopping ass bitch. Ugh. But thank you to every single person that has sent me a DM on Instagram. Thank you for every single loving comment. Thank you to my OG angel gang. Even though my Instagram name has changed, y'all are still angels in my life now and forever, bitch, because I am definitely grateful for every single one of you guys. You do not have to support me. And you know what you really don't have to do? You do not have to go on Instagram and let me know that you relate to me and let let me know that I should keep going. Like you do not have to do that. That is 100% God. And I thank you for allowing God to work through you because I really do be needed to read that shit. I definitely feel like twisting up another blunt, but I just wanted to take the time to love on you guys because it's really been a journey and it's the same bitches in my comments four or five years later. Yes, I am excellent. Yes, I am a star, you know, but y'all could have got sick of me and left like everybody else did. And you guys were like, no, I see something in this bitch and I'm gonna stick around until I get to the end of this rainbow. And y'all gonna get to the end of the rainbow like I'm not gonna fail you, bitch. Period. Oh, it feels so, ugh. This video is gonna be so fun to edit. Anyway, let's twist up. Let's twist up. I gotta get these thumbnails or y'all not even gonna click, bitch. And all of this intimate conversation I'm having with y'all will be for nothing. And that's, that's honestly the truth. Like, it's funny. But it's the truth. Why do you act like that? Like what? The way that you act, you don't you don't see how you act why people don't want to be around you? No. Look how you act. I didn't even take a break from my channel because I was going through anything and you guys were showing a lot of love. Like y'all was coming in my Instagram comments like, where are the videos? And thank you. Thank you so much for that. Like I'm not trying to send to you guys too much, but genuinely like for real, like homie to homie. I was not taking a break from my channel because I was like secretly depressed or anything. I was just like overthinking the content that I wanted to create. I still have like stuff in my house that I need to like review on my channel and I've been like overthinking that shit. I've just literally been driving myself crazy girl. If you really wanna know what the fuck I've been doing. And then when I changed my Instagram, I kinda took another week off and I used that as an excuse to kinda like get ideas together. I really do hate when I start uploading and then I disappear. Like nobody hates that more than me on my mama. Like I hate that shit. When I'm in that zone, 
I get so pumped up. I love engaging with you guys. I love reading the comments. I love getting feedback. I love coming up with new ideas. Like every time I upload a video and then I start reading those comments, it inspires me to like keep going and like keep feeding you guys. But then like for some reason, I just get in my head like, oh my God, if I'm lying, I'm dying. Like for real, like I just get in my head y'all. And that's why I brought up when I got trolled and everybody was like being mean to me in my comments and shit like that because that shit literally rewired the way that I think you know what I'm saying so I like to protect my energy and that's why sometimes I don't really like to be consistent because I be feeling like you know this is the world wide web like not everybody that's watching you actually like you I be having to take a step back like for so many different reasons, bitch, I could really be sitting here talking for 49 fucking minutes. Sometimes I have to take a step back because I be in my feelings and I get depressed. Sometimes I have to take a step back because, like I said, I start to overthink and I talk myself out of amazing opportunities. I talk myself out of taking action. Sometimes I have to take a step back for spiritual reasons, you know what I'm saying? To like protect my energy. And to be honest with you guys, I kind of don't feel like being held accountable for that. Like, I like to do what I want to do and that's why I'm a fucking YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? I like to do me. When I go into hiding, I prolong it because I have to ask myself like, do I want to explain to them why I went missing this time? If I was a subscriber, I would be like, whatever, bitch, you went missing again, like whatever. But like, at the end of the day, I'm a human. I feel like I really just need to be grateful that you guys have decided to join me on this journey. And I feel like you guys actually do appreciate that I don't know what the fuck is going on from day to day. I feel like that's actually more relatable than I think it is. I'm just like really hard on myself that's another thing like sometimes I gotta take a break from my channel because I'm so hard for myself and I will like work myself into exhaustion because I have like this toxic mentality of what I think success is you know and I'm gonna be real with you guys sometimes I'm absolutely fucking delusional like sometimes I think to myself oh I have to be over that situation I made a YouTube video about it I'm over it I talked about it on the internet I'm over it and girl I'm not over it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I actually do not be over it at all. Like, <sighs> I'm talking so much, but I just feel like I kind of lost who I am as a YouTuber a little bit. I feel like sometimes I don't see YouTube as being fun. YouTube used to be like a fun job. And sometimes I see YouTube as like a job job, like something that I built and I have to show up for. I feel like me making this video is like, me trying to fall in love with doing this shit because sometimes I don't love doing this shit and I'm telling you right now is because like I experienced how weird people fucking are on the internet I'm not even trying to give those people that much credit because at the end of the day like I'm still getting a check every single month I'm still doing this shit because I have to love it you know like I was talking to my friend and my friend was like, um, oh, you know, I kind of given up my dream of doing music, but it keeps pulling me back. And I was like, girl, if it keeps pulling you back, you have to pursue it because that's how I feel about YouTube. Like I could be at my lowest in life and I will still be like YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Like I cannot give this shit up. Even though TikTok exists and TikTok is changing people's life. I cannot give this shit up. Like I just been through too much and I'm gonna see it to the end. I'm going to reach the promised land if they kill me. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Like, I'm not trying to give the people that trolled me too much credit because I'm not a loser. Like, I don't care that much. I'm just saying it rewired my brain. So now I kind of see doing my job from like a different perspective. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't be as delusional as I was before. You get me? Like, I can't, what am I trying to say? Like, like now when I make videos, it's a reality for me that people People watch me that don't even like me and before that was not a reality for me like before I was like so in love with making videos because I felt like you know finally I was attracting people that understood me and related to me and I was building a community and yeah like I feel like I don't want to come on here and be negative with y'all and talk about shit from the past that still bothers me because this is the internet and everything moves like this but like, I'm a human being. I don't move like the internet, you feel me? And so sometimes I feel corny as fuck coming on here telling y'all that 
some things still bother me to this day. And that's why I can't come on here and do YouTube like how I used to do YouTube. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you, it feels so good to be honest, because I feel like I'm setting myself free. Like, I feel like telling you guys how I really, really feel is setting me free. Like, that's so corny, but that's how I feel. Like, I feel genuinely like, now that you guys understand where I'm coming from, it's gonna be easier for me to talk to you guys because I know that you guys understand me now, like in 2023, not, you know, when I first started doing this shit. Cause that girl don't even exist no more. I feel like sometimes I'm afraid of the internet because people don't allow you to grow, I feel like. And I'm not talking about my fan base because I've experienced the love that I get from my fan base. But you know, the more people that love you, the more people that do not like you. You know what I'm saying? I need to be realistic. I don't give a fuck how you guys feel about what I'm saying. I need to be realistic. I love being delusional, but when it's time for me to like face the fact, I'm going to face it. And usually that's when people start hating me more because I speak it how I see it and how I see it is really what the fuck it is. Today when I was getting ready to start filming, I was thinking to myself, I was like, wow, you used to pray for times like this, Brianna. Cause you know how I'm like working on my mindset and everything like I have been talking to you guys about that for months but like today when I was getting ready I was just feeling myself you guys and I thought to myself like I used to pray for times like this like I remember when I did a live stream and I broke down crying on live because I was like I'm working so much and I just want to do YouTube like this is all I'm gonna do and I'm still working when I was getting ready instead of thinking about what some bitch is gonna say in the comments and instead of you know telling myself that I need to put on a full fucking face of makeup to come talk to you guys i start to think to myself like dude you used to just pray to be able to make videos whenever you wanted to make videos you used to pray for that creative freedom and now you have it let's take advantage of it that's when i got the idea to do this video because i was just in this zone of like who gives a fuck like you're brianna i remember when you used to just want to do videos that's all you wanted to do and now you have the time to do it and you're like what are they going to say about me i have to be perfect if i'm not perfect i'd rather not do it at all and let me tell you guys something i've been watching a lot of rupaul's drag race so much you know what i noticed you guys the queens that want to be perfect so bad those queens are miserable and when i say that they're miserable i mean like they're so hard on themselves that they're not even able to enjoy the experience of being on the show they're not even able to process wow i prayed for this i've always wanted this and now i'm here in front of rupaul i noticed that about myself and i was thinking about that as well when i was getting ready to film this video i was like just enjoy the ride and i'm not even trying to be corny you guys got to understand i spent a lot of my life being a miserable bitch thinking that happy people were like the corniest people to walk on earth i'm starting to realize that a lot of the things that genuinely make me happy now are things that like my teenage self would consider corny my teenage self would think she was way too cool to be happy like you're too cool to enjoy life Okay. And that's why I love getting older because it's like the older you get, you're just like, I am not going to be perfect. I'm never going to be perfect. So what can I do with myself to work around this? Like, what can I do to be my best self? Because I'm never going to be perfect. If I was going to be perfect, I'll be a robot. And I'm definitely not that. Like, I will think that I look so good before I get on camera. And when I'm editing, I'll be like, wow, you didn't see that? Oh my God. It just, it makes me want to throw the whole video away. That's another reason why I'm not consistent. You know, I I will film videos and literally throw them away because I'll just be like, no, you can do better. You know what? Now that I sit here and think about it, I don't think anybody can bully me worse than I can bully myself. What the fuck? And it's so liberating to tell you guys this. Like, it's so good to stop hiding secrets from y'all. Like, it feels so good to come out here and be myself and just talk to you guys about these things. Cause you know what? I've been watching other YouTubers recently because I decided that I really want to move. I've been watching other girls on YouTube and they really have been inspired inspiring me because those girls they're not striving for perfection and they're still getting the same numbers that I want to get 
why do I feel like I need to come on here and I need to be the best of the best? Face beat, you know, hair laid. Like, nobody is holding me to that standard but me. Real shit, man. And it feels so good to tell y'all this, man. Like, nobody is stopping me but me. I watch these other girls and they inspire me so much to just get on camera and be myself. And it makes me think, like, what's stopping you from making mistakes? It's like, I don't even want to make mistakes, you know? Like, I want my editing to be absolutely perfect. And and I want my intro to be absolute, like everything. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it's okay to enjoy the journey until I get to that point where I can be like that. But right now, you know, I'm just riding the wave. But yeah, I actually have been thinking about moving. I feel like it's time for me to really get out of my comfort zone. I don't know if I want another roommate or if I want to live by myself. And I don't know if I want to stay in LA or if I want to pack my shit and move across the country. Like I was going to get into therapy and then I got this hair up my ass where I was like I don't even want to live in LA I'm so confused sometimes because on one hand I'm born and raised here so it would be easier for me to establish myself here and then like travel and then see where I want to live while still having a home base you guys sometimes I want to be a hundred percent nomadic like real shit and then I have to be real with myself I love stability like I need to be stable so that nomad shit like it's not gonna work for me I need to have a home base I need to know that no matter where I go in the world I have a home address, bitch. Don't play with me. That's one of the reasons why I'm considering staying in LA. Another reason I'm considering staying in LA is because when I'm apartment hunting online in Los Angeles, I'm already getting catfish. You dig where I'm going with this? Like when I'm in my city looking for apartments, I already know that I'm being catfish. Like they'll make it seem like it's a luxury building. And I'm like, it's nothing luxury about that neighborhood. I know LA, you feel me? Like I know LA. So I I'm at an advantage versus somebody that's coming from like Michigan or Ohio and they've never been to LA and they're just like happy to be here. I don't want to leave the great city of Los Angeles, California to be in another state and I'm not living better than I would be living here. Okay, honey? I'm not one of those people that can move to Atlanta and just be happy to be in Atlanta and I'm living in a fucked up building. No, absolutely not. Because if I'm a struggle, I could be struggling in LA where I know what the fuck is going on. And look, I'm not even trying to speak no struggle over my life. I'm just being realistic. Like when I was looking up apartments in other states, I was like, let me look this shit up on, you know, Google Maps or Apple Maps. Let me get the street view. These apartments will be in butt fuck nowhere. The apartment will be right here and across the street is nothing but dirt. It's no stores. Like you know how you could double tap on the map and you could go to the end of the block. It's no liquor stores. If I was to get an apartment in the hood, of LA. I know in walking distance there will be a 7-Eleven, a liquor store, a gas station, something. You really think I'm gonna move across the country and there's not even anything in walking distance? Hell no. But I'm gonna be real with you guys. I genuinely believe in my spirit. In order for me to reach the level of success that I want to achieve, your girl is gonna have to spread her wings and fly. Like I'm gonna have to leave the nest. I'm gonna have to get out of LA way more often. I definitely do see some travel vlogs in the future because my goal right now is to really get a feel of different cities. Instead of just picking up and saying, yeah, it's popping right here. I'm gonna go live over there because it's popping. Let me go get a feel for it. Because when I was in Atlanta, I really did not like Atlanta. I did not vibe with Atlanta and I'm gonna tell you why. Even down to the customer service, like it was not giving. Eating is my favorite fucking thing to do. I don't care where I am in the world, Brianna Lay is going to eat. These girls was giving worse customer service than me. And I know when I'm at work, when I'm giving bad customer service, I know when I'm giving bare minimum, but I'm still giving LA bare minimum. In Atlanta, their bare minimum is like, bitch, I don't even know you. You acting too like, you know what I'm saying? Like everywhere I went, like the food just took fucking forever to come out. Bitches would be forgetting shit. And then they would still want a tip. Like girl, I went to some seafood boil and this bitch forgot to bring like something that me and my homegirl had ordered. And she was like, do you even still want it? I was like, yes. Me and my homegirl was like, obviously we want it. That's why we ordered it. Like what the fuck? Another thing that I really didn't 
didn't like about Atlanta is how fake it is. Like it literally feels like if Instagram was real life. I felt like I was in a simulation, like dead ass. And this is coming from somebody from LA. And I said all of that to say in 2020, when I was going through it and I really wanted to leave LA, I was praying to move to Atlanta. It was so important for me to tell you guys how I feel about Atlanta because there was a time in my life where I was praying to God to move to Atlanta. I thought I was supposed to move to Atlanta. I thought my dreams would come true in Atlanta. And then two years later, I went out there and I was like, this is not it. Like I am not fucking with this. Uh. So yeah, I've talked to you guys about my insecurities as a YouTuber. I've talked to you guys about how I wanna move. So what else do I wanna talk to you guys about? Cause I'm literally gonna talk to you guys until my camera start flashing red. Like I feel like I owe that to you guys. And like I said, I really do fucking miss y'all. The love that you guys have been showing me recently, it is not going over my head. Give me more, like show me more. But yeah, what do I wanna talk to y'all about next? Like, I think I'm running out of shit to talk about. Oh my God, my camera started flashing red. Okay, okay, I guess it's time for me to go. That's whack. Right when my camera started flashing red, that's when I was like, okay, I'm gonna talk my shit at the end of this video. But I guess we'll save that for another video. Let me put the blunt out. If you guys made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. You are appreciated more than you even know. I'm starting to realize like you guys are my family. Y'all like my best friends. You have really created a safe space for me here to be myself. And I really need to be so much more appreciative of that. So thank you so much for believing in me from the bottom of my heart. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up support your girl get those fingers moving in the comments below and let me know how'd you guys feel about my confession because these are my confessions let me know how you guys felt about today's video with that being said i'm getting anxiety the way this shit is flashing i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video till next time